Hi there, this is Josh from Literary Gladiators, and today we are going to be doing a hands-on review. A hands-on review is when we actually uh, demonstrate something that is being featured in the book. Uh, for instance, if we're reviewing a cookbook, we may go over one of the recipes and actually demonstrate how it's made, cook it and eat it, and then make our judgment based off of the experience and how the end result came out. In this case, we are going to be doing a science experiment. Right out of 101 cool science experiments with Glenn Singleton and put together by Helen Chapman. This is the first time we've ever done such a thing on this channel. And I really haven't seen many hands-on reviews on Booktube. Uh, so I'm really interested to see how this uh, comes out. I'm here today with Charlie, uh, my fellow gladiator. Hello. How are you today? I'm doing well. How are you? I found Waldo. <laughs> I'm going to get oh, smacked yeah. for that one. Okay. Here's the wooden spoon. Here is our first hands-on review. We are doing an experiment from uh, 101 Cool Science Experiments with Glenn Singleton, put together by Helen Chapman. And the specific experiment is the eighth one in the book, called Super Starch which means that we're going to mix cornstarch together with water and we're going to figure out whether or not it is a solid, a liquid, or both. Or a gas. Oh, sorry. Just kidding. That was a bad joke. Already. First thing is to take this uh, full cup of cornstarch and pour it into the bowl. Alrighty, next thing we're going to do is pour, I'm doing half a cup of water. You can also do a quarter of a cup if you want. Alrighty, we're going to be adding the water. He added the water. Alrighty, time to mix. We're going to be mixing the salt until we get everything in. I want to use as much of the starch as I possibly can. Mm. I thought we were making brownies. Mm, 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 mm. I don't think you would want to eat this, Charlie. No, I don't. It doesn't taste very good. I, and I can explain what happened in 10th grade when we did this. Already. Oof, I can feel this already. This, it looks kind of lumpy. Which is an obvious assumption. Already. You want to take a turn? I think... It was getting there. Already then. Next thing I'm going to have, next thing I'm going to do is have Charlie play with this. He's going to knead it. You use your hands to knead. Well, I won't get close to that. Uh, should I take off my watch? I think that's a bit of a good idea. Okay. Alrighty. I've got a uh, paper towel. I'll be paper towel. Alright. Um, Just knead it and... Oh, it feels so good. Ooh. What are you getting out of it? Mostly solid. Not like a. Uh... Yep. A lot of the, it's kind of like a kind of like a gel-like substance right now. A hard gel. Keep kneading. Kneading uh, what? Oh yes, you need me to knead. Yes, I need you to knead. We're English majors. Uh, just keep that in mind, please. One year ago, we graduated. Oh dear lord. Okay, it is actually, you know, a lot of it... Oh. Should not have done that. What I'm trying to... Have to go to band practice tonight, Charlie. Take a but, big clump of it. Yeah. It, 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 it's, it's, it's obviously it's coagulating, and we, we can see here this is like quicksand. It's a... Yeah, it's a solid in your hands. But when you release it, it becomes a liquid again. Exactly. Because it's the way that the molecules are arranged. Molecules? What are those? I didn't do well in science class. Nah, I mean... It's the, uh... The consistency. Yeah, it's... It's, it's, exactly. it's everything that's in within the matter. Exactly. And I'm actually... And as I the molecule, it depends on the, uh... 
the position in which the molecules are. Ah, I really already You could probably it. connect energy to it, the things that say solid. Catch! Just kidding. <laughs> For those of you that do know me, I kind of cause a little bit of trouble every now and then. I like to make some jokes. <laughs> Put it there, Josh. I think I'm okay. Alright. High five? Just got out of work. We did. Uh, we're having more a week so with the kids, so they're doing all the hands-on activities, and that's all. I get. Oh, cool! Is that paint? No, I don't need that. Are there any creatures that look like that? Um, squid. I don't know. Today we have a dive. Maybe when it's them. coming out of your hands, it may look like a little squid. It kind of. I'm, gonna, I'm trying to need it as much as I can. See? Ah. Uh, yep. Or a jellyfish. Yeah, it looks a bit more like a jellyfish when it's uh, uh, dangling out of your fingers. Because exactly. as I'm that. putting it in my hand here, which you can see I'm feeling miserably at, but still. Uh, already in this book, uh, it'll give you specific details regarding uh, why the uh, this uh, starchy device is can be both a solid and a liquid at the same time. And it, it tells you what exactly happens, which in here, uh, it's uh, within the ball, it is a liquid. Yes. And when you mold it with your fingers or whatever. Um, but as you are applying force to it and uh, playing with it, it becomes a, a solid. Uh, and it looks like a pasta was all in He's expecting fluid, so something yeah. a little bit harder than that. And I think that when you're putting the, when I was putting the spoon in here, it was, uh, it's, I'm hitting with the spoon and it's quite solid, but as Charlie's uh, playing with it, it looks much, uh, much more liquidy than hey, the, actually, uh, you know um, than its face valve. I'm actually going to try and, alright, I'm trying to do this up close. Is there a zoom zoom on that thing? Come on, let's zoom, come on. Okay, okay, that's a 90s show. I'm stuck in the 90s, okay. Gorgeous, right? You see? Mm. Already. It looked a lot like a solid substance when you were scooping it up. Exactly. And then once you let it out of your hands, it... Uh, I'm not doing anything with my fingers. Return to shape, which... Exactly. An example of what they give in the book is... Uh, For those of you that may not know, this is Flubber. Um, this is his, uh, his cousin. Very much like sand at the beach, where you know what? Yes, it's solid it's when simple. you're walking on it uh, quickly, but as you're going slower, your feet start to sink in. Okay. Kind of like a quicksand. Exactly. And I know a little bit about quicksand. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Were you ever under quicksand? Uh, no, but I was. Um, I went fishing a couple. This was actually while I was still in high school, and I. And I was not really into fishing, but I'm like, all right, I got the pole, I got this stuff here. Don't brag about catching a hoe, because I caught a garden hoe. And I, um, true story, true story. And it was, um, after I picked my, I got my nose with the, the, the bob or thing, the hook, I'm like, okay. I, I guess I caught things. your nose? Don't ask how, Ooh. it just happened, okay. It's um, it, it was actually, it was like a little pinch, I'm like, okay, out, all right. Um, and I, I'm like, oh my gosh, I got something. And, uh, it was, this was in a lake, not an ocean, so. <clears throat> and, uh, it ended up being a garden hoe. And I'm like, I caught a hoe. And, of course, that's not a good story to tell your friends, because some of your friends may have a dirty mind. Me, I had to look, what up, I had to look that up on Urban Dictionary, I'm like, what? And it actually looked like it was something from the 50s. Mm. Oh, okay. You know. Having a fun time playing with it? I am. This is fun. Alrighty. <gasps> Not any more fun. Okay, we're good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Should I stop? It has turned to mush. This is like ice cream when you get, um... If you go out and get ice cream or an Italian ice, I prefer ice cream. That car that that cloth is definitely going to need to be washed. So. Yes, indeed. Okay. But I'm saying, like, 
you know, when you go out to the boardwalk and you get a thing of ice cream, and then you just let it sit there, because okay. sometimes I just do that, and it starts melting. So, mm. well, Doctor, the operation was a complete success. Already. <laughs> I think I'm going to pass on the handshake. Okay. I'll do that when you clean the hands. All right. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm seeing how long I can keep Still it. having a good time. Oh, we're rolling. Hello. Alright, throw it at the camera. Just kidding. Just kidding. Ooh. This is it. This no, no, is no, solid. No, <laughs> now, see, I'm going to get yelled at. <laughs> yeah, he's laughing now, but. <laughs> Try to keep it as solid as long as possible, so you, you have to keep pressing. Have you, tried, have you tried applying major force to it? <clears throat> we have, Doctor. It is not working. Alrighty. Oh yeah, see how it goes. I could just sit on it. No, no, because that would be way too much force. You have to keep rocking your body back and forth. Yeah, you, know, you can actually run on this stuff. They've done that experiment before. Yeah, really? you can. Yeah, yeah, they built the whole like thing that you can like right. run on, and it's like made of this stuff. Once you stop though, you're gonna fall in. You have to run. If you can run an entire mile nonstop, before uh, you won't fall in, and you win the uh, prize of a thousand dollars. I should try it, but I'm fat and... Actually, you know what? No. I have lost weight, folks. So, um... I'm proud of myself. I'm actually... Um, I'm in my work pants right now. But, uh... I'm now with 36 waist. And as much as I love the Malamars over there, I, uh... I've, I've took off considerable weight since, you know... I think... When did we start? When did, the, when did we start Literary Gladiators? 2014. 2014. It's now 2016, my friends. A lot has changed for me. But, uh... Weight-wise. Congratulations. And you know what? I found out most of it, 90% of it is obviously diet and, you know, but walking. Every night after dinner, just walk 20 minutes, and that's how I drop the weight. <laughs> see how when I keep kneading it stays it's as a, a solid? And you can actually see how it's like a little bit melting a little bit, too. Floor. Josh is going to yell at me. I'm trying to keep it. Don't worry, I can pick that up off the floor there. <laughs> Try to keep it as solid as possible and show the people, like, you know, up close what it looks like. I got a band practice tonight. <laughs> Don't ask anybody. Don't ask. <laughs> you the drummer? Yes, I am the percussionist in this band. I'm actually in. Like, Does that sound like cool? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it is. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> Even though we play every song, it, I, you know what, I'm not going to say that. So you turn the beat around? I try to. No, you know, this is actually, like I said, um, for those of you that do know this, for the, thank you, for those of you that don't know this, I, like I said in previous episodes, I'm in a Scottish band. Bagpipes, drums, um, kilts, um, uh, hey, what's under that thing? Don't ask. Don't ask. Um, but I also recently joined a mini orchestra. It's not like the London Symphony or Orchestra or anything like that, um, but it's, it's, it's just a mini orchestra, and it's something to have on the resume, you know, as experience, so... I do that. I'm the only percussionist, so looking drums around all day is fun. <laughs> You're holding it in your hands longest. Now, are your fingers open? Yeah, they are. <laughs> you have a biology major right here, folks. Wait. <coughs> what I do with biology? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Poor fingers. Told Mary Shelley is a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I gotta it's clean up. It's disintegrated in my fingers. My precious, my precious, my precious. Are we rolling? Charlie's we're getting, rolling. pretty intimate with the No, no, I didn't know mixture. we were rolling. And, um, Thank you for joining us for this science experiment. And uh, we encourage you to engage in a hands-on review. And as always, we encourage you to keep reading. Like, subscribe, and enjoy. Ooh, that was quite an experience, I would say, to say the very least. The way that the experiments are put together in here, it's very creative so that anyone of all ages can uh, find the information to be quite appealing. Uh, this particular experiment with uh, whether or not something could be both a solid and liquid using cornstarch and water People, know, people are more familiar with the term oogleck, and that's what 
uh, the mixture of cornstarch and water is. However, there may have been some uh, copyright uh, friction that may have taken place uh, since uh, Dr. Seuss made mention to uh, Bartholomew and the Ublack. But the way that Singleton approaches it is really creative. Uh, you can see on this uh, cover, uh, you have the, uh, the glob of starch. He's presenting himself to the featured uh, lab rat that's uh, taking part in each of the experiments. Uh, he's like that uh, mascot that you would find on a children's television show. But the material here is much more intriguing and it's not as if, I think, older kids are going to enjoy it just as much as younger ones. And I think that even adults, I think you could see from what happened today that, uh, you, that they can have a great time with these. They give you directions as to what you need to do. They give you an explanation as to what happens and why it happens. And they also include uh, a fun fact that is related to it and a little quiz that's also related to the topic at hand. I highly encourage you to check out this book, uh, there, the one that we did, and there are 100 other exciting experiments of all different kinds, exploring all different areas of science. And I think that when you're doing it hands-on, you're really attracting the kids toward learning. Not, not just learning in general, but in many cases, this is where a love for science and a career in pursuing the sciences begins. So this is, a, this is quite an important book, and I think that both Glenn Singleton and Helen Chapman did an impressive job putting this together. I'm not going to give a full review yet because I have yet to finish the entire book, but I am making my way through. Thank you for tuning in to this experiment, and as always, we encourage you to keep reading.